Okay, and so now let's look at question three. There is a 10 question multiple choice test with four options A through D each. We looked at this one earlier. But now the question reads, would it be usual to get eight correct answers if a person were guessing and we need to answer yes or no and explain why using values? So for me, when I grade, I'm looking for the yes or no, I'm looking for the explanation and the numbers that support your explanation. So first of all, we wanna find out, is it usual? Is it common? So we need to remember that we'd already found the mean and standard deviation, 2.5 and 1.37. The formula for the usual min is mu minus two sigma. So we would take our mu of 2.5 and subtract two times our standard deviation of 1.37. And so we get a usual min of negative 0.24. Now remember, this is where we said sometimes we get wacky numbers, like how can you get negative answers right on a test? But remember, we just keep them as we see them. The usual max, mu plus two standard deviations, so two plus two times 1.37 gives me 5.24. So again, I can't get 5.24 questions right, but the usual maximum is limited at that point. So eight is not usual. We wanted to know if it was common to get eight, and eight is not in that range. So we need to answer something along the lines of, no, eight correct answers is not usual since it is more than the usual max of 5.24 correct answers. So when I answered this, I explained, I started with no, I have my Y section, and I'm using values to justify my Y, my reasoning. So maybe you want to work ahead and try problem four and then check your answer. So first I have to start off with N. How many students are we looking at? 25. This one was about 10% of Americans being left-handed. So I have 25 students in a class. The probability of being left-handed is 10%, but remember we have to convert that to a decimal. And so the probability of not being left-handed would be 90% converted to a decimal. So first I want to find my mean, N times P, to get 2.5. So on average, two and a half students in a class of 25 should be lefties, and the standard deviation, the square root of n times p times q, is 1.5. The usual minimum, two minus two standard deviations is negative 0.5. You don't always get negatives on your minimum, it just so happens the numbers we worked with on these two examples gave me a negative. My usual max, to take the mean plus, I change it to a plus, the standard deviation equals 5.5. So we were looking for five lefties and five is usual because it's inside the range. So now I need to answer the question as to whether it was unusual to find five lefties. So no, it would not be unusual to find five left-handed students since five is inside the usual range of negative 0.5 to 5.5. Remember, five is usual, and because it's the opposite of what was asked, unusual, this is why I started with no.